of my friends um, were posting pictures of the flood and a lot of them have lost their homes and um, so we were just like we have to do something. It was the photos and videos of the devastation that motivated Megan Lindsay to bring help to her hometown in Ponchatoula. We did this in two days. It was, <laughs> we were fast and furious. We haven't slept in like three days. Megan is the runner up of last season's The Voice. A call to action to her over 50,000 fans on social media led to a U-Haul packed to the brim with supplies that were donated from the singer-songwriter's current home in Nashville. Tons of pallets of water. Um, we did a lot of first aid items, um, clothing obviously, canned goods, food. Um, yeah, it was all kinds of, lots of baby stuff. On Saturday, Megan drove that U-Haul eight hours from Nashville to Ponchatoula High School to personally deliver those items at a distribution center set up at her alma mater. Dozens of volunteers helped in the process, including Lloyd Woodruff, who's still cleaning out his home and just trying to hold it together. We lost everything we worked for for 15 years is out of the streets. We have the dishwasher, the, the stove, all the kitchen counter top, counters in there, and the bathroom cabinets, another little entertainment center over here. The kids' bed, my bed's in there. They have the computers in there, all the, just Where they get home everything that was on the ground. Anything that was on the ground, it's, it's by the road. We had roughly 10 inches of water come through the house. For now, Lloyd is taking deep breaths and focusing his attention on helping other families who've lost everything, just like him. I'm trying to help somebody today, because I've been helped all week. Uh, people I don't know, people I probably won't never see again, they come help me. They were there. Natalie He, WDSU News.